What's up guys welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and today I am going to show you on how to create a custom cinematic or cutscene inside Unreal Engine. So let's get started. Alright so the first thing that we are going to need is of course have our level opened and what we're going to do is just create a new level sequence. Basically there are two types of sequences that we are going to use today. First of all, like I mentioned, is the level sequence, which is more for individual shots. So a camera is going to be attached to this level sequence that we're going to create. I'm going to move it around. And then the master sequence is like a whole timeline that we can join little level sequence that are basically the clips that we have created. So to make it more simple, let's go ahead and start creating. So let's go ahead and just say add level sequence. And we're gonna shoot, uh, choose where we want to create. In my case, I have folders at custom, and I'm just gonna say, uh, let's see, okay, uh, sequence uh, one. All right, can I have space? All right, just save it. It's gonna go ahead and create. And okay, we have a timeline. Uh, so what we're going to do is go up here into the quickly add to the bride, and we're gonna go into all classes. I'm um, just search for camera. And in our case, we are not going to use the camera actor. We, we can, oh, sorry. <laughs> We're going to use the scene camera, camera actor. So uh, we're going to have so many more options to choose from and customize uh, from there. So the first thing that we're going to do is just go ahead and get the camera from our outliner and just drag it into this uh, empty space of their sequencer. So just drag it on here and it will automatically add it into the timeline. Now, right now we are piloting the camera. Okay, so we can go ahead and just move around like if we were in Unreal and the camera will move into our perspective. So let's go ahead and place it into a cool uh, kind of place. Just have it around here. All right, so right now it won't be doing anything. So what we're going to do is just make a quick animation. We're going to use animations and create them by using keyframes. So you see this transform keyframe. As you know, the transform is basically all this, the location, rotation, and the scale. In our case, we are going to only, uh, you know, touch the location and rotation. So you can just go ahead and say, add a new keyframe. So this will be our starting point. Now we can now go ahead and move around a bit and then go ahead and just drag a bit the, you know, the timeline again. Uh, it has reset it, so let me just move again. So first of all, you have to move your uh, time into where you want the next keyframe, move your camera and then go ahead and add another keyframe. And you can see that now we have a kind of, of a rotating uh, animation. Very cool, very simple, right? Of course, it's very, very um, quick. So we can just go ahead and drag this keyframe to be more longer and it will basically take more time. You can see to release the animation. All right, next thing we are going to do the second shot. So basically this, um, this level sequence is going to be the first shot and now we're going to create another one. But first of all, I'm just going to add a quick model so we can kind of visualize it better. him like that so if we uh, go back and select our camera we can see here how it will look really cool right okay let's make our next clip and what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and create a new level sequence this is gonna be the sequence 2 of course you can name it and organize it as you want I just recommend it to do like this now let's create a new camera we can just go ahead and select our previously created cinema, uh, cine camera actor and just duplicate it. We have two. So just drag this one into the uh, timeline. Uh, we have uh, the new uh, timeline added into the scene. So we can just go ahead and pilot it, move around, and we can have a angle, for example, like this from here. Okay. So we will basically start from here. So in the transform, just add a keyframe. Then we're going to 
and it on here we can move it later it's gonna go the other way around okay all right there we go we have our second clip so right now we're gonna create the master sequence however we are not gonna do it like creating a custom master sequence we are going to make it from a level sequence okay i know it's a bit confusing but you know uh so let's just go here and say master sequence okay so in here we can actually drag in the the clips that we did so we have here a clips right so first of all i want to play the first uh sequence that we did so i'm just gonna drag it into the timeline and it's gonna be added with control on the uh, middle mouse you can go ahead and zoom in zoom out so first of all uh basically this shot uh will play okay i'm not seeing right now because I've, i haven't got the piloting camera set up but you know you, you you know that i have this first clip so then i can just go ahead and just drag in my second clip and just make it that it will uh you know make it after and you can see the camera rotating around so uh yeah really cool um you can go ahead and just drag in all your shots or your clips that you made into this level sequence that we interacted as the master uh basically a master sequence is just much you know much complex and it is it isn't what we uh, you know looking for so we can just create a level sequence and act it as a, as a master sequence okay a bit, it's a bit hard to explain but you, you understand me uh, also here we have the ending so make sure that you know the end time of your timeline will match the whole uh length of your clips okay so uh right now we can go ahead and preview it uh but there's a thing that we have to do you see that we have all our sequences uh basically in our scene have been added well we're just gonna go into the master sequence and say auto play we're gonna go ahead and say loop all right so if we now uh go ahead and just say uh, hit play you can see that our level sequence is actually playing and the two clips are being actually played this will be in a loop uh as we have said it that it will be a loop so that's it guys i mean that's the basics of just creating a simple casting inside unreal engine 5 to use in your games or prize or whatever you are creating you can go ahead and join all the clips into one uh timeline like it was you know you were editing a video so like and subscribe please if you want to see more content like this and comment uh, other unreal engine videos you want to see and tutorials so with all that said bye bye